Hey everybody, in this video I want to talk to you guys about catalog folders. I'm going to show you how you can find catalog folders, how you can create a catalog folder, and also why you should use them in your workflow. So to find catalog folders, simply just look to your browse pane here, and they're going to be the top section of that. It's going to say catalog folders. If you just started using On One Photo Raw, there isn't going to be any catalog folders for you, but don't worry because it's super easy to create them. The best way I've found to understand catalog folders is to simply just create one. So I'm going to grab a folder that I want to create as a catalog folder. I'm just going to click and drag it into my catalog folder section here. And a little warning is going to pop up. And basically that little warning is telling you what the catalog folder is going to do. So if you read it, it says, cataloging a folder enables searching, viewing subfolder contents, and auto-tracking of changes in the folder. This means that if you go into a catalog folder and you start editing photos and making different changes, On One Photo Raw is going to recognize that and update your entire catalog folder to reflect those changes. It also says it will also cache previews for viewing photos instantly. It can take time, but is done in the background. What this is going to do is it's going to create a small media cache for the preview files of your photos. So basically it's going to take very small preview images of the photos that you have and it's going to cache them inside of a small media cache so that when you search for these photos or you look through them, you can view them instantly. This is awesome for when you're working with a bunch of high res photos because if you have them in your catalog folder section, all of those preview files are going to be cached and you can view through thousands and thousands of photos instantly without any lag time. So now we know we wanna create a catalog folder. Let's just select add and it's going to add that folder to my catalog folder section. And say you have a bunch of folders that you want to add to catalog folders, it's really easy to do that as well. So if I head back to my group of folders here and I can just grab as many folders as I like, I'm just gonna grab these ones and you can just simply do the same thing like you did before, just click and drag them and drop them into the catalog folder section. The same warning is gonna pop up every time, so just click add and we'll add those folders to the catalog folder section. And if you have a very large folder, for example, this Coast Mother's Day folder here, it's a pretty large folder with a bunch of high res images on it. So it's going to take some time to cache all of that. That's why you have this little progress bar here, letting you know how far along the preview caching is. And I wouldn't worry too much about these progress circles here because you can still access the folder at any time and browse through these photos just like you would normally. So basically this is just telling you the preview caching progress, but it's gonna remember any of the changes or anything that you do within this folder before that progress is up. So feel free to go in there and edit and do all the things you would do because it's still going to create that preview cache in the background. So you don't have to worry about it uh, messing up your editing or your workflow. What I wanna to talk to you guys a little bit about is why I like to use catalog folders with my workflow. So I'm not a huge organizational person, especially when it comes to photos. I'm sort of a shoot it, give it to whoever needs it, or share it to where it needs to be. I'm just kind of put it on a folder, put it where it needs to be, and that's all it is. So with my workflow, this works great for me because I post to social media accounts a lot. I post to my Instagram, I post to my website, you know, whatever it may be. So I created an Instagram folder that I can access at any time. What I like about catalog folders is that whenever I pull up on one photo raw, all of these catalog folders are going to show up instantly and I can access any of those older groups of photos that I want to look at. Another great reason I like to do that is because say I come back from a shoot and let's just pretend this beach trip folder is a group of photos on my SD card that I just came back with from a shoot. So I have these photos and I just pulled them up off of my SD card and I'm browsing through them and we'll just look at this one real quick and I'm like, yeah, I wanna edit this. So I'll, let's put a preset on it real quick. I'll just add a black and white preset. So now I can go back to my grid view and I can grab this photo and if I drag it into my Instagram folder, it'll instantly go in there and now I have the photo right here. You can see how that could come in handy if every time I come back from a shoot, I want to post you know, four or five of those photos. Also, if I go back into my catalog folders here and I wanted to create a subfolder, say I wanted to create a subfolder to the 
Instagram posts that were all of my dog. I could select those, I could right click, and I could add a subfolder and name it Bentley. And now I have all of my dog photos within my Instagram subfolder. So if I ever need to access them, I can do that very quickly and very easily. You can also drag and drop into different subfolders within your catalog folders. So say I have a subfolder in this Coast Mother's Day, I have my Cannon Beach Panorama. Obviously I don't have any panos here, but if I wanted to add you know, certain photos from different catalog folders into that one folder, I could simply select the photos, click and drag, and then I could drop them right into that folder there. So really the possibilities are pretty endless when it comes to your catalog folders. What I like to use them for is quick access. I like to use them because they keep track of all of the photos that I'm editing and all of the photos that I'm looking to edit in the future. And also because I can see them as soon as I open up Photo Raw and I know where to access those photos. There's a little bit about catalog folders, how to access them, and why you should use them. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Dylan with On One, and stay tuned for more.